Well, thanks for stopping by the Survivalist 2008 YouTube channel. Today's Blast from the Past segment, the Sharp PC Personal Computer PC 7000 circa 1985. Now, I'm sure this brings back memories to a lot of you. And, of course, this particular unit is an 8088 or 8088 processor and it runs on DOS and I don't recall what version of DOS this has in it but it's got two five and a quarter inch soft floppy disks now let's see if I can get this floppy disk up into the camera to show you kinda what it looks like now I know a lot of you remember the three and a three and a quarter inch floppies there were hard floppies this is a very thin piece of uh, mylar uh, type material and it uh, actually has two drives on the right side over on this side on the end it has an A drive and a B drive now the A drive you would insert this MS-DOS floppy and then boot it up and then you would have to know a little bit about DOS now trust me back in the day we all thought this was going to be, oh, this is the greatest computer in the world. But it ran on DOS. But those of you that really knows computer, you knew that there was a great future ahead for computers and what they would do. Well, look at a standard smartphone today. Could you have ever imagined the processors that small? Anyway, this particular unit came, came with the DOS manual. And trust me, you had to read it, and you had to know DOS. And the reason I say that, I got this out, dusted it off so I could make a video, and I couldn't remember the DOS commands. So I had to remember that it uses a file structure and directories. So I finally figured it out. And I found a good little program on a separate floppy that runs Supermorse, which is a ham radio uh, Morse code trainer and I used this back in the day so I'm gonna see if we can just bring this up and show a little bit about uh, what it can do it doesn't they don't really do a whole lot Okay, that's enough of a demo right now. It has, of course, an adjustable uh, contrast over here if you want to adjust the contrast for this particular screen. It's an LCD. You can adjust the, the level of how this uh, screen uh, appears to you. If you want it lower, you can lower it. If you want it uh, higher, you can raise it, uh, raise it up, let it come out. This in the day was a great computer, and uh, it's a satchel style, so this keyboard fits into the front here and folds up and snaps in to place, and it has a handle on top. Now you're probably thinking, what's this on top of this computer? Well, that's uh, a brand new, never used five and a quarter inch floppy drive. It still has the card in it from when I bought it years and years ago at a ham fest and I couldn't tell you in the early 90s but that's what's in this unit is two of those floppy drives built in and I have it a complete box of um, I actually have six or eight boxes and I think there were 10 or 20 in a box and I have all sorts of programs that came on those or that I was able to download them probably off of bulletin boards and of course back in the day we didn't have the internet but we had bulletin boards that you could connect in with your phone modem and there was also ham radio bulletin boards that you could connect in through your, com through your uh, computer hooked up to your radio but if you wanted to send email using the 
ham radio bulletin boards. You could do it, but you wasn't assured that your message would receive to the other side of the country. It may take two weeks to arrive. Now, you send it, click it, and it's it's right in his uh, in, inbox. So, the days have really changed, but really, we want to go back to the old times and remember what a lot of the people and the pioneers and technicians did to bring us the computers and the equipment we have today. So, well, that's all for now. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll have another blast from the past real soon.